So let's talk about social signals because a lot of people are, you know, are saying you, know, so you need social signals to rank. Well, you don't, ultimately. You can rank a site without social signals. But you can also rank them with social signals. So ultimately, social signals, so shares, tweets, bookmarks, they don't pass page rank, like we talked about. Nine times out of 10, they don't pass page rank. But they do increase domain authority and page authority because we know that ultimately a nofollow link right, is going to still pass some ranking juice, if you will. It just doesn't pass page rank. right? Um, and uh, the other thing is that most social sites have massive domain authority, like massive domain authority. If you look at um, Facebook, Twitter, um, I'm sure Pinterest and YouTube and all that, they all have a domain authority of 100. Right? So they have the highest domain authority you can have. So when you get a link from them, even though it's a nofollow link, it's going to pass a lot of trust and a lot of authority to your site. So if we think of our goal is to increase our domain authority, right? That's going to be our goal for our site is increase domain authority. Well, in order to do that, we need links from other high domain authority sites. So social signals, your shares, your tweets, those actually pass that authority from a domain authority of 100. That's why social signals work. It has nothing to do with the fact that they're social signals versus another link. They just happen to come from some of the most authoritative, trustworthy sites online. Now, the other thing is that social signals are considered a positive, essentially a positive quality score indicator within the Panda algorithm. Now, I'm not going to go into Google Panda algorithm and the penguin filter and all that sort of stuff, but Panda itself, the Panda algorithm, is essentially designed to penalize sites that are of low quality. So if we could imagine that there's like a, there's, there's you know, a, a positive and a negative column, right? And a whole bunch of different things about your site are going to put a check in the, you know, good or bad column, okay? Social signals are a check in the good column. So what will happen is social signals may help you a little bit, essentially making it easier for you to rank, right? A little bit more than not having them. But again, you don't need them to rank. But the other cool thing about that is, if you have things in the negative column, like let's say a high bounce rate on your site, or um, too, much, too many images or ads above the fold when you go to a site, and one of the big things is images. That's something to actually write down. Look at, look at your site in a normal size browser window, and if it's all a big image and there's no content, you're going to be getting a negative check in that quality score. So, um, if you have a bunch of these negative quality score indicators, essentially you're going to get penalized or held back by Google, pa Google's Panda algorithm. Well, social signals can actually, if you have those, can help you not have those bad things affect you as much. So they help you stay on the good side of Panda, and then they help you increase your domain authority and your trust flow. And of course, so they increase domain authority and Panda quality score. Um, Note, of course, non-public links, so anything on a personal Facebook page, like if it's not publicly available, if it, if it can't get indexed ultimately by Google, it's not going to do anything for you. So <laughs> um, any of those things that show, like if somebody personally shares it on their Facebook page and their Facebook page is not indexed, that content, it's not going to give you that link that's going to pass any domain authority. So. Um, Sometimes a lot of what we do when we're trying to rank things, we're getting people to share things, and a lot of times it actually isn't going to do much for you.